Hello, this is Steve, Green Fuel H2O. I have not made a video in a long time. Um, did get myself a tripod, so everyone out there that's requesting that I uh, put the camera on a tripod, um, I've got one of those now. Uh, what you have in front of you is uh, several several weeks worth of efforts. Uh, probably close to two months. Um, Larry in Alaska, HHO PWR, turned me on to a, a couple of ideas and uh, put those ideas in motion and uh, uh, I didn't want to be the only one that was uh, testing out some exotic metals. So what we have here is a uh, nickel, nickel plate cell. Um, can't really show the inside. This is a sealed sealed cell, uh, dry dry cell style. Um, it's also a, uh, a zero current leakage cell. There's no holes in the plates at all. All the edges are sealed off, and I have a unique unique way of the uh, letting the water in through the bottom and the HHO out of the top. Um, can show you what the plates look like. This, this is a nickel plate, and uh, each plate is uh, sandblasted. Um, it's sandblasted with uh, 50 grit. Garnet bead, which is an idea that I also got from Larry. Inside of the cell, there's uh, it's basically one stack, um, positive and negative. And I've got five neutrals in between. We're going to start out with that. Um, the plate spacing is about three sixteenths. I usually have about a one sixteenth plate, spa plate spacing, and um, I know that the current density is going to be a lot, a lot larger on these uh, nickel, uh, sandblasted nickel plates. So I move my gap up to uh, three sixteenths. I'm just getting ready to hook this up. Um, I'm going to hook power to it. I'm going to get a uh, brand new reservoir and we're going to uh, fill it up with K a KOH solution and uh, run the cell for the first time. We've got the uh, power situated here. Got my power leads, one on each side, so basically the power plate's on the end of each side and it's one of these. This is a power plate. And the nickel uh, neutral plates. They look just like that without the holes. And I'm just kind of hooking up the hoses. I put a brand new tank on here. And that's why I'm doing this. I just wanted to say a lot of strange things kind of happening on YouTube here. People trying a lot of different stuff. These these nickel plates, I just want to tell you, they're not cheap. So I don't know how economical this is going to be. If this will be anything that's mass produced, but we're going to give it a try. There's been a little bit of talk out there about titanium and uh, different coatings you can put on uh, MMO coatings and nano coatings. And everyone's trying to 
maybe get an edge on the other guy or maybe it's just pure research um, can say for a fact that the uh, nano coating mm -hmm. really does make a difference um, Larry with HHO PWR has proved that um, there's been some talk of titanium out there and really not a lot of people that are using it uh, I can think of one company in particular that is um, they have a uh, MMO coating uh, I basically think it's it's some kind of uh, nano coating but can't be for sure for that but uh, what they're saying is uh, if I unless I heard them wrong is they're saying it'll, it'll work in every vehicle some of the biggest skeptics have been turned into believers I really haven't seen much evidence of that yet. I mean, I'm really waiting for uh, some input from the skeptics on that design. But anyway, I've got the hoses here hooked up and uh, go out and see how it does. Uh, basically, I've got the power hooked up and uh, ready to put some electrolyte in here. Um, Go ahead and do that, and we'll come back and we'll start it up. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. We're getting a little production there. Let's hook the meters up to it. We got 14.95 volts. Just have the uh, have an Astron power supply here. It's able to put out about 75 amps. Zero in the meter here. Okay, I don't even know if that shows up. 14.95 volts. 0.3 amps. Not too bad. You can actually see the circulation. the water. Might not be light enough in here. Not too much production with uh, this week of an electrolyte. I'm going to try and run a uh, MNW test here with the uh, production the way it is. So I'm going to set up for that. Okay, got the bottle set. Time is ready. Let's go ahead and make a measurement here. And this might take a while, so I'm going to pause the pause the video while it makes its measurement. Okay, well, I just measured out 500 milliliters. It took me 5 minutes and 15 seconds to do it, and something's not right here. Because this is what I'm getting. Um, the temperature was 63.5 degrees. 14.94 volts, 0.5 amps. Um, 5 minutes, 15 seconds. I've got a 12.75 MMW, or 168% to Faraday which is um, something's not right there 
So I'm going to recalibrate my equipment here and uh, figure out what I'm doing here and uh, I'm going to make another video and we'll do another test. This is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. If you like this video, click my name in the upper right hand corner of the this video. It'll take you to my YouTube channel where you can view other videos on HHO that I've done. And we'll be right back with another video um, and a more accurate test. Thanks for watching.